Today we'll be performing a pre-start inspection on a tanker. Here at Conway, we've devised an inspection list that we recommend you use on a daily basis to go over your tanker before you take off for the day. We're gonna start at the front of the tanker where we have our connections to the truck. So the first things we need to check are your blue service airlines, your red supply airlines, and your electrical plugs and EPS plugs. Make sure that there aren't any leaks, there's no cracks, they're on securely, and also check the condition of the pins. From there, we move on to our three inch hot air hose. Check your cam lock, make sure it's secure. Check the condition of the hose, make sure there aren't any cracks or it's not fraying anywhere. Make sure you've got the heavy duty clamps on and that they are secure. If your cam lock is fitted with a locking mechanism, make sure that's in nice and tight and uh, locked in. Whilst we're still at the front of the tanker, it's also a good idea to check your handrail switch. Whether it be a push-pull or a toggle switch, check for the smooth operation, make sure there's no air leaking. But also at this point, we must stress, check your company policy about accessing the top of your tanker. If you're not sure, always ask. When you've got your handrail up, check the operation of the ram. Make sure that opens and closes nice and smoothly. From there, we move on to the pressure relief valve. First thing we do is check that the manual relief is in good condition. Also check that the security tag has not been tampered with. And most importantly, check that the pressure that is stamped on the relief valve matches that of the taker. It's also a good idea to periodically check the blow off whilst you're unloading your taker, just to make sure that when it does reach the right pressure, the relief valve does go off. Now we move on to the control panel. We check the gauge, it should read zero. Also ensure that you have a visible uh, red line that shows you the maximum pressure that you should be running the tank at. We need to check the operation of the pinch valve switches, in this case, as fitted. Make sure they're smooth and there's no leak. Check your decals. Make sure they're visible, not torn or worn off. Whilst we're looking at the valves, it's a good idea to check all valves. Whether you've got ball valves, butterfly valves, pinch valves, check the operation. Make sure it's nice and smooth there's no leaks, there's no crunching. With the pinch valves, it is also recommended to leave them fully open when not in use for a prolonged period of time. As rubber does create a plastic memory, it can slowly close in, and that's when you start to get the excessive wear happening. We now check the underneath of the tanker, the cones. We check the manifolds, the gaskets, the seals, the clamps to the uh, air hoses. Once again, make sure they're not loose. Make sure none of the gaskets or manifolds are cracked. These will be quite evident when you're discharging, you will hear excessive hissing noise. So always keep an eye out for that as well. As we walk around the tanker, the next thing we'll check are your wheels and tires. Check that the tires are inflated to the proper KPA. Check your mud guards, mud flaps, Make sure A, they're not missing, B, they're not cracked or loose. Where you've got a hubba meter uh, fitted, also make sure that that is in working condition. Check your toolbox, ensure it is locked. At the same time, have a bit of a look around, make sure you haven't forgotten any rags or any tools outside the toolbox, which can become a hazard. Now we're gonna check all the electricals around the tanker. Check your side indicators. Check your indicators. And your brake lights. Check your reversing lights, reversing buzzer, and all your work lights. Check all your pipe work. What we're looking for here are any points of stress, excessive corrosion, or any cracks. Glance around the tanker and look for the same things there as well. We now come to the rear of the tanker, 
over here we're looking at the condition of your Chevron signs, make sure they're legible and not falling off. Also check your registration plate. Now we're going to check the hose tubes. Make sure the latch is working properly. Look at the condition of the camera locks, just like what we did at the front. The locking mechanism is in good condition. The seal is nice and clean inside. The clamps on nice and secure. Run your hand over the hose. What we're looking for are any soft spots that indicate internal wear. Where you have an auto hatch on your tanker, we also check that that is fully operational. Good idea to keep it nice and clean in there. Make sure that the buttons are working. Before you go opening up the hatch, please ensure that the tanker pressure is at zero. Whilst we're talking about hatches, where you have a manual hatch fitted and you are able to access the tanker, check the levers. Once again, please ensure the pressure is at zero. Check your levers, check your hatch seal, your wear plates, the hatches themselves. Once again, make sure there's no cracks or anything gone wrong with them as well. Just a couple of last checks before we take off for the day. Ensure that your handrail is down. All the hoses are secured and hammers put away. Your toolbox is closed and nothing's been left on the tanker and also make sure that your landing legs are raised. Hope this presentation has been useful to you. If you would like some further information or a copy of our inspection sheet, please contact us at Convair. Thanks for watching and safe travels.